All right, guys, Josh Thackeray reporting for Spurred on television. We've just beat West Ham 1-0. I've got regular, I've Watford. got Ben with me. Sorry, Watford. Beat West Ham as well this season. I've got yeah, Watford. Ben, tell me, how was that for you? Oh, it was a fantastic win. I mean, when I when Kieran Trippier scored the goal, I mean, for the first time we were holding on to the lead, I didn't feel nervous because we had just controlled the game in all aspects. I mean, defence was great. Uh, hold the mid we held the midfield very well and we kept going at them. I mean, if it weren't for Gomez, I think we could have probably put at least put three past them. Uh, so very exciting times for Spurs. Of course, there are a few more challenges ahead of us, but it's looking very good. Yeah, I think at the beginning of the game, with Man City losing, there was an opportunity to go second. Yeah. You know, the dizzy heights of second. And there was question marks of whether the players had that composure and patience to see the, the game through. And at 1-0, it was always a bit iffy. Yeah. But I mean, on, on stats and paper, we, we absolutely murdered them. Yeah. Is Chadley a starter for you? Or should, should we be bringing on um, Sun? Or um, obviously, Dele Alli wasn't well. But is Chadley a starter? Um, well, that's a possibility, but I mean, it's great that we're having this uh, discussion about who could be starting in our first squad because we never really had this depth. Like, for me, before we could easily choose our starting eleven in past previous seasons, but now we've got like whether we can just start with Son, Lamella, Chadley. I mean, it's great we have these options, but yeah, I mean, I we consider him a start. I mean, he has starting in our starting eleven because he has scored quite a few goals in recent games. So yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So Chadley, you're saying should he's deserved to anyways. Now we've got a lot of games coming up. Yeah. We've got a lot of midweek games coming up with the European competition as well. Do we have a deep enough squad? Where are we going to finish? Uh, well, I do think we have a deep enough squad and also I think we've got the fitness to go with it because before, I mean, Europa League games afterwards, we just come back from a Premier League game and, well, I've said it before, we've played like relegations sometimes. But I mean, after Europa League games, we beat Bournemouth 5-1, uh, we held off Chelsea and um, so yeah, we've got the depth to cope with it and the fitness to also uh, cope. Uh, so. Yeah, I think we can handle the competi other competitions we're in. And as far as we're finished, I'm starting to think top three, maybe even higher. Um, got a top three. We've had a lot. Of we've had a lot of top finishes, but we've had a yeah. top three, which is probably top a bit three. more reasonable, isn't it? I think we're quite yeah. excited after that game. We've got Man City away. Yeah. Give me a scoreline. Um, I'm gonna go uh, two all. I'm gonna say two all. I think it's terms. Um, I mean, I'll take a point in the Etihad. I mean, I haven't beaten Man City or the Etihad since the year we got Champions League. I mean, if we do beat them, then that would be really encouraging signs. But I'm going to, so, so far, I'm going to stick with two-all draw, I think. All right, Ben's going for two-all. Let us know the scoreline for Man City. Bit of pressure on Woolwich tomorrow to try and get, get, get three points. Come on, Bournemouth. Come on, Bournemouth. Thanks for your comments, Harry. Make sure you subscribe to the channel ben. on YouTube. Ben. It's Ben. <laughs> Sorry, it's Ben. How's it going? Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook. Cheers. Thank you. Ben, take care.